guys, so, um, it's Thursday, and, uh, main video is gonna be up today. As soon as I edit this, I am so, so tired. And exhausted. I was hoping, waiting for some text to see if I had to go outside today. But, apparently, no one. So, yeah. And it's actually pretty nice where you can wear hoodies, but that's not the reason why I'm wearing this hoodie. I have horrible tan lines from band camp, and I was like, hmm, Thursday, what to make a video on? And since it's not that dark out yet, and but it's not as bright as my room, I turned on the light, and I opened my window curtains, which I rarely do because, yeah, so I was like, hey, let's make a video. And I have my clarinet right here. For like a prop. Today's video will be on marching band tips and just band in general and la 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 la. Because it is August and school starts for me in most of where I live in like August 25th ish, the 21st, 22nd, around that time. And I was like, hmm, people, they might have started band camp this week, they might start next week. I already finished band camp, so I already went through the huge deal of everything. So I decided I'm going to give you guys some tips and ways to survive band camp and maybe some tips on concert band. Um, but, uh, I don't know about jazz band because I'm not in jazz. I avoid jazz for solos. I do not do solos. Not that confident enough yet. I'm working on it, but, uh, no, no. Let's get started. So I have a clarinet, it's my baby. It is actually a plastic clarinet. I only know so much about woodwinds. You cannot use a wood clarinet outside or you will be crying on the field. Within like the first five, 10 minutes and when it's outside, this doesn't matter if it's raining or it's hot, you're, the wood's gonna crack and you're gonna be really upset because that's bad. <laughs> Um, plastic ones are more endurable, but they can, stuff can still go wrong. Because during band camp, I was like, uh, all the woodwinds are breaking, hashtag band camp problems. Which is true, because, like, every day a saxophone or a clarinet will go up to our instructor and like, Hey, my, something's wrong with my clarinet, can you fix it? Or, hey, something's wrong with my saxophone, can you go and fix it? None of the brass would get up there, none of the, um flutes because uh, they're metal but they can still break so I was like okay this is awkward but at least with uh, you know clarinets you know they're fine for reed users if you really if you want to sound good just use your regular reeds but I mean they'll break as long if you're not careful plastic reeds they're okay um, but they're not like uh, they they sound horrible. I mean, they're good for band camp because you can fall and break them. But oh no, not if you want to sound good. Just stick with regular reeds. I use Van Doren. I got to the point where I'm actually really good at my clarinet, so I don't need uh, a level two Rico. And I actually got a new ligature. If you buy things for your clarinet, I feel like I'm just talking about clarinets. But yeah. Anyways, yeah, the change. Anyways, back to band tips. Always bring water. I don't care what instrument you play. I don't care how good you think you are. Bring water. Because my band camp was two weeks. And it was, the first week was 8 to 5. 8 in the morning to 5 p.m. And we were outside for four hours. And then inside for, like, the rest of the day, basically. And I didn't like it. And then the second week was even worse because it was 8 to 8. And we were outside for 4 hours. Inside for 4. And then we had lunch and dinner breaks in between. Then outside for the last 2 hours from 6 to 8. Bring water. I don't care how good of an athlete you are. Bring water. Because if you had those time measures or even 8... 12 hours all through your band camp, I would seriously recommend water because you are going to be so tired. Um, another tip would be 
that you should eat healthy. Uh, yeah, eat healthy. Uh, because I'm, at least eat enough where you have enough energy. That's basically what I'm saying. Because you don't want to be there and you be running in the morning and you puke. No, that is not good. Not good at all. This makes you look big. Another tip would probably be uh, practice at home. Because if you're like me, I do not have good memory at all. <laughs> Which sucks. Because I work so hard. It's amazing. I even got this, the second song almost memorized. I seriously almost got that memorized. For drill, uh, our instructor is pretty strict on talking and everything. Um, make sure you listen to their instructions because if you don't, then you're going to get yelled at. And I don't like getting yelled at, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't like getting yelled at, and you can't fight anybody, so what's the point? Um, Marching Man is one of the one huge family unless you date, then it's kind of weird to think about it like that, but whatever. You're going to need some athletic shoes. Don't... I haven't actually tried Vans, but I've worn van, Vans that are good. Just wear shoes where you know they won't come off. Uh, make sure they're tied really well. Because you're going to be there marching, and then you're like, is my shoe untied, and you're going to trip and fall, and break your instrument, or whatever. Another key point is to always look at the drum major, because that's where you keep your tempo, whatever, and I make sure you're always marching on the left foot, unless you're like the Cavaliers, I think, that do it on their right. Make sure it's always your left. And just play good, be confident, because, you know, that's basically, and if you do, like, tournaments, um... For our tournament of the bands, is ours in chapter 9, so I'm pretty sure you can figure it out if you search it up. But just be confident, and you know how they're like always talking in their thing, and then they put it on your thing. That, has, that hasn't happened to me yet, where they put the microphone on your clarinet. I'm so scared they do that. I'll get quiet or something, and I don't want to do that. I'm just terrified. So just be confident. Memorize your music. Play good. If you don't know your notes, just ask someone who's older. Um, make it enjoyable at least. I mean, there's a time when you can goof around, but there's also a time where you can't. So, just remember that. Bring water. Concert. <laughs> Concert. Oh my gosh. Concert, you can just look off the paper. Concert band is okay after a while, but then you're like, uh, Jazz, I've never actually experienced jazz. But concert, I tend to sleep in there sometimes. You don't understand. And then I think that's really it. I can play some of my clarinet for you guys. Just to see. I don't even know how this sounds. I'm not even sitting properly. But. I don't even know if that was. That was us. It was the B flat major scale. Or the C scale. Where you start off with the C. And you go up. Um. I think, yeah, always make sure your reed is wet, <laughs> last minute tip, because if it's dry, your notes aren't going to come out, so I think that's really it. <laughs> practice but I should I'm just busy finishing my summer work uh, next week I'll probably do tips on school survival or something I don't know because it's getting near this part of school senior year so uh, I'm just glad I survived band camp that's basically it <laughs> so uh, remember to subscribe remember to like or give this video a thumbs up or, or like it for a keyword. Like this video. Comment down below on the instrument you play and tips on that for people who don't, for me. Because I'm like instrument biased. I love clarinets. Or drums. I like the drums but I can't play them. Because my brother's a drummer. So I'm filming, I'm vlogging this Saturday. So I'll see you guys then. But that video won't be up till probably Sunday or Monday. I'll probably use it as a Monday vlog. And I'll see you next time.
So remember to just keep being nerdy because obviously you know what's best if you're a nerd. You're the, you are the master of what you know. Nerd, being nerdy. That's where I get nerds from, for anyone who's offended by saying that. But yeah, so, thank you guys. And, see you next time. Bye-bye!